Perfect. Hello, it's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another very, very special video. Woo! I'm also back again to do another Wala Wednesday. And trust me, with the Wala Wednesday that I've been doing the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of positive feedbacks and obviously it's given me the encouragement and the motivation to continue. But also, last week, I did do a Wala Wednesday video, but unfortunately, there was no sound in the video. So I spent like about 30 minutes, 40 minutes recording the video. By the time I look back at it, there's no sound. And you know what, sometimes these things happen and it's just part of technology but also it means i can always redo the video and make it even better which is a bit annoying at times but it's also a way to improve myself as well let me not waste your time let me get straight into this while wednesday so if you haven't watched the other while wednesday or you want to know what while wednesday is about go check out my other videos on while wednesday and uh feel free to also not just check out while wednesday but check out my other videos as well so i'm gonna go straight into it like i said so hold on so let me start with this one because this one is quite interesting so i'm gonna start with this one so it says a guy in the church is part of the choir but his wife is always accusing him of looking at another woman who is also part of the choir that has a big uku so uku means yash as well big yash so if you don't know what yash is uh go on check it out but it's, it's quite trending at this moment so check it out she also has a big yash this wife also has a big yash too when he gets home this becomes a big argument the guy doesn't know what to do he's feeling of leaving the choir so this is a big problem because obviously according to the scenario the guy's in a the choir there's a woman in a choir too that is not his wife that has a big uku or that has a big yash his wife also has a big yash too or she's she's uh physically endowed let's put it like that don't like to use the word yeah she's physically endowed now the problem is the woman his wife he's always accusing the guy thinking he's always looking at the other woman who is also physically endowed but for me the way i see it this is just about trust and communication but also as well there could be a lot there could be a bit of jealousy into it as well because obviously the wife is a, might seem a bit jealous some people might say oh she's just maybe being protective but for me personally if you're in the choir or you're in a church setting obviously you should be focusing on taking the hymns or what the choir is singing and the songs in the spiritual the religious songs in but obviously it seems like the wife attention is been moved away and she's more focusing on what her husband doing this is based on trust because for me personally if you're with your husband which you're married like that personally i think you should have trust in your husband that listen he's not going to do the wrong things he's definitely gonna he's focused on you because at the end of the day he chose you as his wife so you should have trust in him but also i know that sometimes when people like let's say for example when a guy or a girl maybe they've done something wrong in the past and obviously they now maybe due to that reason maybe she's skeptical and she's not trusting him that could also be the reason but i'm not sure but like i said i think this is just a matter of trust and i think you should trust your husband that he's doing the right things and he's not focusing on the woman but also as well there's a need for have a communication because clearly this is affecting his guy because for him to make a decision that decision that he wants to actually leave the choir or leave the church in total just because to avoid arguments i think definitely because you don't want to be carrying this going home especially after you a religious activity or, or going to the church or or whatever setting you're in you want to be able to receive the message go home and obviously make it like a day of it because church mosque and other religious setting is not just about just worshiping god it's also a social community as well and it's a way of meeting with friends families or if you go to the same place the same church so the last thing you want is for you to come home have another headache and and i think the woman should stop giving herself a headache as well or giving herself a high blood pressure and just trust the husband and know that he's going to do the right things so that's my take on it let me go to number two so it says 
My guy studied law when he said the starting salary is 40k, 40,000 pounds. He finished and he can't get a job. He's working as a security guard where he gets £8.50. He is unsure of what to do. He even wants to quit looking for a law job and do something else. He's a bit regretting studying law. So this was actually someone that actually said this to me actually and I, and I wrote it down because I think it's quite important. And there's a reason why I think this is quite important is because a lot of people study courses which at the end of the day when they finish they are told that they're going to get high paid work or they're going to get paid quite a lot of money from the course or after you finish the course which could be true on one part and might not be true as well because the university their job is to bring it into the university it's like selling a market basically they're there to sell a market to you to present to you why you should come to their university when you come to the university part of also their job after that is to give you the tools needed for you to be able to apply to these high paid jobs their job is not to get you these jobs that's not their job their job is to give you the tools is to give you the knowledge is to give you the work experience the skills that you need to apply to get this high paid job so if you're thinking the university has failed the university hasn't failed in their part you've also failed in some aspect in the sense that you need to push it to be able to get these high paid jobs to be able to utilize the skills you've learned because once the university gets you into the university that's part that's some of their job done if they fail to give you the tools and skills needed for the job that you're looking for within the course then that's where you can say the university has failed but if they've given you the skills and experience and also you've got a certificate to prove by getting your marks maybe two one first whatever marks you've got or whatever grade you've got the university can come and say look we've done our part it's now up to you that's also why it's important that sometimes a lot of you don't just go and study courses where at the end of the day they say oh you're gonna get a lot of money you're going to do this you're gonna do that because when it becomes difficult especially in this scenario where the guy obviously he's thinking of quitting because he's been looking for a job maybe for about six months now and he's not been able to get one and the law and some other jobs there's a high demand for it where there's a lot of people that are studying there so there's a lot of competition so if you're not really passionate about this course or about this job when it becomes difficult you probably end up giving up and i think people also need to get rid of the mentality that school is there for you to help you get jobs that are high paid or get things mm, that's not what school is there for schools are there to give you tools to enable you to get these high paid jobs so because i know a lot of people they're complaining ah schools this schools that no 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 it's you as much as schools can do their part you also need to do your part but like i said this is where the passion of the job needs to come in because if you're passionate about this job and it's really something you want to do when it becomes difficult you'll be able to push it you'll be able to keep going it took me two years plus to become a dj i went all around the uk if you haven't watched my teaching journey go and check it out i went all around the uk because I'm passionate. I, I like teaching people. Teaching is my passion. It's one of my passions, actually. But even though when it was difficult, I didn't just quit. I ended up traveling, going to different places, making sure I still push it. But one of the issues here is obviously because he can't get a job in law, he's taking up a security job. Personally, I think it's a good thing that instead of sitting at home complaining he's actually go out there and actually look for a job and he's got a security job as well and that allows him to keep cash flow but what you need to be careful of that you don't get stuck into those jobs the reason why i'm saying that you don't get stuck into those jobs is that some people get stuck into those jobs before you know it they've done 20 years 30 years of that job and don't go back to utilizing their degree or some people go into those jobs instead of doing it maybe part-time try and push the law some people go in there and then obviously responsibility bills and all this stuff happens before you know it you've done a number of years my thing on this part is number one first thing like i said already you need to understand that university school they're not there to help you get high paid jobs they're there to give you the tools to enable you for you to apply 
those skills the tools the knowledge you've learned to help you get those high paid jobs that's number one number two when you get jobs like these high paid jobs whatever job you do you need something that will motivate you to keep going because sometimes it's difficult not everybody finishes courses and then go straight and start earning 40 50 60k a year some people finish it might take them six months before they get a job a year two years but that's where you need to have that motivation inside you that way you need to have that drive and you need to ask yourself do i really want to do this because if it's not something you want to be doing you'll be working for maybe a lot of us are going to be working for 30 40 years of our of our lifetime so you need to make sure that it's something you you actually want to do you want to push but you need to find that motivation if the motivation is money cool push it if the motivation is what you enjoy push it but when it becomes difficult that's when you need to start asking yourself is this really what i want to do because if it's not really what you want to do what you end up doing you end up taking jobs here there 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 before you know it 20 years gone down the line you haven't utilized the skills the knowledge that you've learned from university also as well if it's not law you want to study sit with yourself reflect and think what am i good at what can i study that i'm actually good at and you maybe you can even utilize the skills the knowledge you've learned from that law and apply it to whatever you want to do but at the end of the day if you are in university right now you whatever you're studying whether someone told you that when you finish studying you're going to get high paid blah 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 this and that listen even if you are going to get high paid in it some people it takes them quicker some people takes them longer but when it becomes difficult that's where you will need to ask yourself is this really what i want to do because when it becomes difficult that's where it will test you and that's when you find out that oh maybe the money is not the driving factor because that's when you need to really push it you need to really challenge yourself and push it and not give up and really stay focused and dedicated like i said if you're at university don't think just because you finish you're straight away gonna get a high paid job because life doesn't work like that sometimes but just think whatever happens i am gonna push it and if this is really what i want to do i'm gonna go for it and do it final one two people have been dating each other for seven years and they decide to get married they got married for one year and they broke up listen ask me why they broke up trust me you won't believe why they broke up so they broke up over the guy's socks so they, i didn't know socks could be a problem but they broke up over the guy's socks one day the guy came back from work and flung these socks it landed on the girl's nose and that was it she had enough <laughs> so listen and that was it she probably said no way maybe the socks were smelling that bad i'm not sure but someone, one of my guys gave me this one. It might be something that some people might be passing through. I don't know. It might be something that people might relate to. I don't know. But either way, I think once the guy flung that socks and he landed on the girl's nose, she just smelled it and said, nah, no way. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm leaving. But also, they've dated for seven years, got married for one year. Now, the reason why that's important is because normally people say you don't know someone until you live with them and it could be true and i think it is true actually because i've lived with various people and trust me there's some people that i think yeah they're absolutely fine they're brilliant but then when i live with them you start discovering new things about them that you never knew that you're like whoa i didn't know this i didn't know that maybe that's what the girl felt too after dating for seven years maybe they only saw each other maybe once or twice a week or whenever they saw each other and obviously now you're yeah, living with living with someone is a totally different game because now you see them every day you see their faults their good parts their bad parts but also as well when you are living together or living with people you need to be able to overlook a lot of things because if you're not overlooking a lot of things trust me you just be complaining about every single thing and it's not good for you because you just be nagging you just be continuously complaining with the socks things, I don't think it's just the socks only. I would like to think it's not just the socks only. Because I would like to think maybe it's an accumulation of so many things. Maybe the guy has been doing so many things and the socks were just the final straw and 
she just wanted to just she's just like you know what i've had enough maybe because that's what i would like to think because i wouldn't like to think oh just because um the guy's songs landed on her nose and she said yeah she wants to throw away all the eight years seven years plus the one year and be married she wants to throw that all away just over her socks i would like to think that's a bit silly i believe in luck we should work together we should support each other but obviously if you try your best to support someone and they're still not showing signs of improvement then that's when i say you know what fair enough you've tried i would like to think it's not just that socks only i would like to think there may be the other things that maybe the guy's done and obviously kept on building up building up building up and then maybe the girls had enough and just thought you know what i can't do this anymore so i would like to think that but if you think if you have a better solution or you think something different drop it in the comment section i would like to know your thoughts i would like to know your how you your ideas regarding it so drop it in the comment section this was going to be the final one but you know what for today i'm going to give you a bonus one the reason is because last week i missed the last week's while on wednesday and well obviously like i said i've explained it at the start sometimes things just doesn't work out so but we're here we've made this video now so this is a bonus one this is actually another funny one similar to the socks one so i'm sure i think people might be able to relate to this part because i have heard a few people that have said <laughs> similar things so it says two married couples are fighting because of toothpaste i didn't know toothpaste caused so much problem i just use toothpaste just to brush my teeth and i don't look deep into it he says one presses it at the bottom the other presses it from the middle it is causing an argument what should they do wow wow i never knew toothpaste could cause so much problems and people one person pressing in the middle the other one pressing at the bottom for me does it really matter <laughs> for me it doesn't really to be honest with you but i do know now some things that i think it doesn't really matter some people really take it like some people really take it very deep but also as well <sighs> wow if if you know of people that are doing the same that are in similar boat please just put it in the comment section because i'm we're quite interested to know i think this one is also about communication as well because realistically if one person press in the middle the other person at the bottom the easiest solution to do everybody get their own toothpaste the one that presses in the middle use your own the one that get pressed at the bottom also use your own but it'll be funny to know if one person's toothpaste finishes whether they're going to use the other one actually let me not let me not say this because then it might start another argument too so i'm going to leave that part but either way easier solution get your own individual toothpaste but also have a communication with each other as well or if you can't get each other in toothpaste then one person has to sacrifice or one person has to adapt <laughs> if you press it at the middle before you might have to start adapting to press it at the bottom or vice versa because either way you don't want this to start causing issue and because what happened is when these small small things happen causes issue which is which is the reason why i said that it's close to the socks one because when the small small things causes issues and you don't address it it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger before you know it marriage is crashed or before you know it relationship is done so i'm sure they're going to sort themselves out because toothpaste is not be causing problems and it's not something you should be arguing over so i'm sure you're going to sort yourself out it was another video on while wednesday thank you guys for the support with your support it is going to continue to give me the motivation to keep going and if you like this while on wednesday you enjoy what i'm doing put it in the comment section like the video share the video and let's get it going also if you want to participate in this while on wednesday or you want your views to be heard and you want to be part of the channel as well just put it in the comment section or just message me because i like to hear people's different voices as well i don't just want people to hear my voice because they hear my voice all the time I want people to hear different voices as well. So it's your boy, Mr. C. We have a nice day. And uh, thank you so much for watching and checking out this video. Take care.